Hello, and welcome to this Z1 dashboard tutorial. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how you can choose which dashboards you want to associate with your car. Uh, so right now, uh, I have iRacing loaded up, and I'm in the Audi R8. And for my dashboard, I have the main dashboard for the car, uh, a track map, timing and scoring, uh, some basic telemetry, my adjustment dashboard, and then my pit dashboard. Now, if you want to customize these, you can choose any of the over 70 dashboards that the software has available. So to do this, I'm just going to get out of the car. And then on the dashboard screen here, I'll click on the settings icon to show my settings uh, screen. Now, the car, the four car tabs, car one, two, three, and four, are what we're interested in right now, and specifically car number two. So if I click on car number two, uh, this shows me which uh, dashboards I've associated with this particular car. Uh, and you can have up to 10, and we call them screen one through 10. So right now it tells me I have an iRacing, I have the Audi R8, and this is screen number one I'm looking at. And over here it tells me that uh, the dash is the GT3 dash number one, and this is a preview of that dash. If I click on this particular drop down, the screen one, I can see that I have six dashboards for this car. If I click on number two, I see my track map, my timing and scoring, my telemetry, my adjustment dash, and then my pit info dash. Now say I want to change these to choose a different one. Uh, I may want two track maps. Uh, I might want this one, which has the track map and uh, the driver positions. But let's say in this position, I want to choose a different track map. So and you can now click on the dash drop down, and I'll put in track map number two. And now let's customize this further. So uh, let's pretend I don't want the telemetry dash, but instead I want to have uh, my timing and scoring in this position. So I choose timing and scoring. And then for my fifth one, uh, I'm going to put in the ahead behind dash, uh, which tells me who's ahead of me and behind me on the track. I'll keep my pit info dash because I still want that, but I also want another dash. So I'm going to click the plus, and by, now I have seven dashes. And when you add a dash, by default, it's the generic dashboard. But I'm going to change that to the weather dash. So now I have the weather dash as my uh, seventh dashboard. On the left here, uh, you have uh, some customization that you can do on uh, each dashboard. You can specify the background color of the dash, uh, the fast lap color of the session and the fast lap color of the particular stint. Uh, to change these, you would just click on the C button and choose a new color. Uh, you can choose the font, which is used to render the uh, text in the screen. And you can choose the rev limiter color, the blue flag color, and the yellow flag color. Uh, these are the colors that the background of the dash will flash if one of these situations occurs. If you hit the rev limiter, uh, if you get a blue flag or a yellow flag. Uh, and then if you're running certain dashboards, uh, stock cars in particular, you can choose what temperature the oil and the water information will start to flash at. And by default, that's 270 degrees. So now I've selected these. All I do is click OK. And then when I get back in the car, I scroll through my dashboards. I now have my new track map, my timing and scoring, my ahead behind dash, my pit, and my weather dash. So that's how you uh, specify what dashboards you would like to associate with your car. And uh, all you need to do is load up the sim, load up the car, and uh, select your dashboards. So I hope this has been a useful tutorial. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel.